Hello African Confessions. So I am back with another episode. There is this message that I want to share with you guys. The message is like this. How are you brother Nashi? I hope that you are doing okay. I really need help because I was bitten by a snake while I was in the shop where I was working and when my boss saw that a snake had bitten me, he said that there was nothing that he could do to help me. For many years I had been going around unemployed trying to find a job but finally I thought that luck was on my side because I walked in into this shop then I asked for a job. Then the boss said that indeed he needed someone to attend his shop. That is how I got the job in that shop. That shop was not a big shop. It was just a small one. I was working alone in that shop. I was the one who was responsible for making sure that there is enough stock in the shop. And I was also handling all of the money that was getting into that shop. But there was always one thing that I never understood about this shop because each and every time that I'll be busy doing my job in that shop, I'll hear certain sounds and those sounds, they were so familiar. You know, when a snake is moving around, you can actually feel and hear that this is a snake. So I'll call my boss and I'll tell him that, boss, I think that in this shop there is a snake, but my boss will always say that no it is just in your mind those are rats it is not a snake as for my boss apart from that snake that kept on moving around the shop my boss was quite a good man and each and every day he would prefer not to go home he would tell me that i am sleeping in the shop if I would ask him, why don't you go to your house at night? Why do you prefer to sleep inside the shop? He would tell me that I am afraid that if I go back to my house, maybe thieves will get into my shop. Then they will steal everything from me. Whenever he would behave like this, I'll just say to myself that these business people, they always think that everyone wants to steal from them. So I never kept on asking him. On the side, I had a girlfriend and here and there I would make sure that I have enough money to take care of my girlfriend. In this shop that I was working in, money was flowing in. People would rather choose to travel from far so that they can just buy their groceries from our shop. But yet they would have left some shops in the area from where they were staying. I never understood why even people would choose to line up at our shop so as to buy their groceries. When I saw all of this money that was flowing in, deep down in my heart, I started to wish that all of this money was mine. Greed had taken over my heart. Maybe it was the pressure of having a girlfriend that I wanted to take care of. Maybe it was just greed that had entered into my heart. I don't know. But I made a blunder. It was towards Xmas holidays. It was on the 24th of December. I stole some money from the shop because I wanted to give my girlfriend some money and also I wanted to have some pocket money for the Christmas holidays. When I took that money, later on my boss came because I was supposed to hand over the books to him so that we can do the stock taking and everything and to hand over the money that I had. Because on some days my boss would not even ask me how much I would have sold throughout the day. So what I'll do is that if my boss did not ask me how much I would have sold throughout the day, I'll then take that money, go back with it to my place, then I'll give my girlfriend that money so that she can use it for her business because she was having this small business. After we had profited from that money, my girlfriend would 
give me back the money, then I'll return to the shop with that money. Maybe this is where the greed came from because always on me, I had cash and it was not my money. But on this day, everything was just different. My boss was so different on that day. He asked me about the money that I had sold throughout the day and he said that we need to write everything in the book. And after we had finished doing all the stock taking, after we had counted all of the money that was in the shop, he said to me, this money is short. You have taken my money. Can you please give me back my money that you have taken and I will let you go. So I refused. I said that I have never stolen any money from you, boss. After I had said that to him, he said, it is okay, you can leave my shop. But as I was about to leave his shop, he stopped me and he gave me this threat. It was more of a threat than an advice. My boss then said to me before I had left the shop, he said, if you have stolen my money and if you don't want to give me my money, it is fine. But if anything happens to you, please never come back here never ask for my help again because i have given you an opportunity to come clean please confess have you stolen my money but i refused and i turned around so that i can leave this old man's shop but as i was about to leave his shop i felt a sharp pain on my leg something had beaten me when I looked down, I saw that it was a snake that had bitten me on my leg. That snake was very big and it was a black snake. I started to scream because I was afraid that I am going to die. I am afraid of snakes. So I started to scream. But my boss was just laughing at me and he said to me, You see that snake? That snake is my dog. That snake is my security. There is no one that is going to steal from me. The more that I kept on screaming, people came to that shop because they wanted to see why am I screaming, what is going on in that shop. But when people came in to see what was happening to me, that snake just disappeared. And when I looked at the place where that snake had bitten me, there was nothing, there was no blood there were no marks showing that a snake had beaten me. So what that old man did to me is that he took me to his car. My boss then told everyone that he had gathered around his shop. He said to the crowd, this young man is seeing things that are not real. But I knew that my boss was lying because on my leg I was still feeling some pain and I had seen that snake and I knew for sure that my boss had also seen the snake. Actually, he had said that that snake was his own personal security guard but he lied to the whole crowd and he told me to get into his car then he drove me away from his shop and he dropped me somewhere close to my house and he said to me that if you tell anyone what has happened to you i am going to finish you off i don't have any sin against you i gave you a job but you chose to steal from me no one will steal from me my brother in the village that i am staying now all the traditional healers in our village they have tried every herb that is under the sun to try to treat me but I don't know what is going on with me because on that spot where that snake had bitten me, now there is a wound and that wound is very deep. Each and every day I can feel that this wound is getting deeper and deeper. And around the spot where that snake bit me, the color of my skin is changing. It's no longer dark, but the color around my wound is getting gray. And the way that I feel, I feel as if my skin is getting boiled, just like when you are cooking soft porridge on the fire. The way that it boils, that is the way that my skin feels like. I don't know, my brother, 
do you know anyone who can help me because I am going through pain. I know what I did was wrong. I was not supposed to steal, but I tried to speak with him and he said that he doesn't know what I am talking about. Please help me, Brother Nashi. I have suffered. Dear listeners, right there was a message that I received from Anonymous. Such a sad story, such a sad story. Please let us talk about this issue in the comment section. I'll be back with more episodes.